I want to say is that I used to hate the people just randomly calling me. And throughout the day to say, did you recruit anybody? Did anybody sign up? Did anybody do this? Did you do that tip? Hey y'all, I'm back at it again with another video and as you can read by the title, this is going to be my Forex experience. Like, I mean, everybody else, you know, and I'm going to have a real title. I'm not going to make y'all clickbait, none of that. I'm going to have a real title. The title is real. And that's it. That's all. Sorry y'all, I curled my wig yesterday and it's just not cooperating with me. July 2020 and... I have been seeing people post about it forever. So I was like, yeah, I'm definitely about to join Forex because people have been talking about it. And I said this in May. So I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely going to join. Like, you couldn't tell me nothing. I'm like, yeah, I'm joining. Because, you know, I was seeing people post their cars and their houses. And I'm like, damn, they making this much off of just trading? Trading? I'm like, oh my. I finally hit this girl up that I knew from middle school. Um, and about, it was July, I said, I'm ready. I'm ready to join because I saw this girl post like this, like, nice, like, I think it was a Audi or something she posted. She posted a real nice luxury car. So I'm like, oh, no, she getting that from Forex? I got to join. So I joined, paid my 235 And when I tell y'all, I had paid 235 $200, uh, $134, $99. I have paid it all. Join. Some days go by, and I don't really hear from her. I'm, and this is not to bash her, but I'm just, I'm telling y'all like how like it went up. So, some days went by. I did not hear from her. So I'm like, what the hell is going on? So, her mentor. I don't think it was her mentor, but some guy. Y'all may know him. His name is Rodney. He's with IML. Or. I don't know what group he was now, but at the time he was with IML. So he reached out to me. We we he kept trying to reach out to me and we he he wanted to talk for real about like me joining and all this other stuff. So at the time, I just kept like I I was scheduled with, with like not for some reason they just would not, you know, like this. They would not connect. They were just going this way. So we never got a chance to talk. So and I didn't hear from her either. So I'm like, what the hell is going on? So I'm on Instagram watching her story. I'm just like, what is going on? Like, so then I feel my close friends. I like, I feel like I'm getting scammed at this point because I have not made no money. I have not put no trade in. I wasn't doing none of that. So I'm like, what is really going on? So he finally gets a chance to text me and say, Oh yes, the girl that I knew from middle school. Oh, she's no longer with this team, but you can either uh rejoin. And pay the two thirty five again, and be with me, or you can go be with her. And I'm like, damn, she didn't even tell me. So at this point, I'm like, what the fuck am I gonna do? Why, why wouldn't she sit here and tell me that she left the team and she got my money? Well, she don't have my money, but I might have my money. But I signed up with her. So I'm gonna find out a couple days later. She finally texts me and she tell me like the whole real deal. Um, not, not deal. I didn't mean to do the deal. But she told me the whole real deal of what happened. So here he is. He put her off the team, basically. And they're going to try to get me to sign up under him. Like, no, nigga. Like, what is wrong with you? So she like, yeah, I found this new group. And, um, I found this new group. And they are the best people. They nice. They, 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 uh, they're part of a community. This and there. I'm like, all right, bad. I'm going to come with you because I joined with you anyway. So we both went over to that team. She helped me actually pay for that. So I don't know, like I didn't pay at all. So first time I joined was with IML. Uh, second time I joined was also with IML. A first time I paid the whole two thirty five, and it was too late for me to get my yeah, refund yeah. back. So I just had to chalk that money up. I should have probably disputed it, but I didn't think about that at the time. 
Then second time with IML, she helped me pay for it. So then we was with that group. So we was with that group for like um We was with that group like maybe like two, three months for real. Until like this one girl the so basically my mentor at the time. Well she still well she she's still my mentor. That's that's my bitch right there. She um yeah, met this mommy. other girl that was yeah. in Baltimore with us yeah. and they yeah, clicked mommy. real cool. Like they started hanging out and all that. So then yeah, like yeah. one night I'm sitting in my room and they called me and they like, Oh yeah, yeah. we just found this new yeah. group called B. I'm I'm gonna put pictures of the, the groups like somewhere like that right here or something over. It don't matter where I'm putting it. I'm gonna put it on here. It's called B, like B E B. They're like, yeah, we can get travel points. We can get paid for this. We can get paid for that. When when we recruit people, it go under this person. We all may put it on just selling it. Like selling it. Well, I would say they was they were selling it to me, but somebody was selling it to them. So by the time like they was done talking about it, I'm like, all right, bitch, where we going? I should text my mentees like, we is dipping. Let's go. So we get over to B. And B is so dumb because they are not like, you don't really level up based on how many people is under you. You level up based on uh, CV. It's called CV. It's the volume. It might be CV. So, like, let's say, an example, you start off with no money. You start with no money. You know, residuals. Everybody who's been following the full race things know that. Half these motherfuckers is getting paid by residuals. But, hey, we're not going to knock them because, hey, it's still a stream of income. But I'm going to get into why I don't really like that way. I mean, I, I mean, it's cool. But, Ryan, thank you. I'm gonna get into why I don't like that way. So, uh, we get to be, you could be like at zero. You would need literally 12,000 CV. I'm just giving y'all an example 12,000 CV just to get to the next level. And I leveled up. But once I leveled up and my people paid for uh, the, the, uh, the so you pay for like when you want to become an IBO, they pay for it. It's like my rank just went away, so I was not getting paid. They were saying it's a glitch. It's a glitch. No, it's not. Y'all, y'all just don't. Y'all just it's not a glitch. So the one time that I actually was able to rank up, I did not get my residuals. Then you get you get um you get uh you get like ten percent or something ten like. 10, 10, yeah. no, 10, 10, 20, 10, 10, 30 percent. I can't remember of whatever they pay. So it might be 10 percent because I think every time somebody paid 199, you got 19 dollars. So if somebody paid 300 dollars, you get the what 30 dollars? I don't know, but think about it, y'all. You literally had to make 50 dollars, 50 to 55 dollars minimum to withdraw that money so my money that i got from my two signups is still sitting there like still sitting in b and i ain't been in b since i'm gonna say like october september october i don't know so let me tell y'all how the girl that my mentor met it's like how she really just started moving funny so she started moving real funny to the point where like when we like people was dropping out she started like scamming and stuff like doing those like hotel things you get money off or uh half of a ugg boots and all that other stuff and me and my mentor was like you can't be doing it and you trying to have a uh a, a legit business with forex that's just not how that work why would you even want to be a forex person and scamming at the same time that makes zero sense like so we wound up just leaving her and after that, she stopped doing Forex, and now she does Forex again. So, I'm just like, I don't know. I need to put my phone down. Sir, pull up. So, then, I might be, I might look a little lighter. I, I just messed my exposure up. So, yeah, she was going to scam and stuff and all that. So, we finally just left her grip. So, at that point, my mentor just stopped doing Forex. 
I didn't. I'm like, I'm not stopping. I'm still going. I'm going to keep going because I ain't got nothing else to do. I'm not working. All I had was Ryan. And Ryan was about like six months. I, and then six months. So then I go on Instagram one day. And it was this group called Epic. That these girls. So listen, listen. Let's backtrack. Let's backtrack. It was in B. Mm. Then my mentor heard about this girl, these girls that were in Tradera. Tradera, those two girls was like selling it, selling it, selling it to the point where she was like, I want to join. But then they started pressing, like pressing and pressing and pressing. When you want to join? When you want to join? Is you ready to join? Is you ready to join? When you, I don't, I think people like that just be in it for the residuals and that's all they care about like they only just want your money and we don't got time for that type shit we don't we are here to trade we are not here to recruit the recruit can come let it come naturally that's how i don't like about forex people and i'm gonna get into that too let that come naturally i go on instagram i see this boy promote and portray dara for 75 dollars straight I talked I talk to a couple people like, damn, he's selling for $75. They're like, take your time. Don't keep just joint shit. $75, that's the cheapest it's ever been. $75, he got my money. I show you, sit down at $75 real fast, quick, fast, in a hurry. Like, bye. No, I paid $100, but they gave me $25 back. I'm like, peace out. I ran that group. So, y'all, when I tell you, that was, what's her name? Alyssa. His name, uh. Honestly, I'm only going to give Alyssa, I think his name is Lawrence, and he called him C4. I'm going to only say that they was the only, yo, and I tell you, I touched so much money in that group, man. I touched so much money in that group. It was crazy. If y'all ever get on Instagram and see Alyssa, get with Alyssa. I'm telling y'all. I don't even know her Instagram anymore, but I'll probably post it right here. Get with her. She know the US 30, SBX, um, NAS, NAS, whatever, 100. She know all that shit because she is 100. She, we did the 24-hour thing. Made $400, flipping $50 into $600. All that, like, flipping, flipping, flipping. But then I blew my account like a dummy. But that don't, that don't matter. She gonna make you some money. If y'all really want to get in the group, Join Alyssa, because she's going to make you money, period. That's point blank, period. She's going to make you money. Point blank, period. I don't know what group she with now, but I'm going to get into that. This is when Trey Dara pops on and say, oh, we're no longer uh, a business anymore. We'll have everything on YouTube. Goodbye, type shit. Like, oh, my God. And they was like having a whole time. We're not getting residual. This boy, his name, Devin, he was so, like, Basically, like, I'm not really, I don't really, I'm not really, I don't, he basically, the way I took it was like, he's like, I don't care what y'all do, but I'm leaving this team. I'm going to Epic because I need my bills paid. I was making $17,000 a month and I need it. I got $17,000 worth of bills and I need my money. So, like, really just, okay, you, okay, well, you're going to rub it in everybody's face that ain't making shit. How about you take that? Hey, you take that 17000 and get these people back onto the team. How about that? So then the next day he started, only, I'm only doing a few people that if you sign up now, let me know. Screenshot it. I'll send you the money back. But just yesterday you was complaining saying, I don't have my money. But as soon as those people start rolling in, he had that income again to start, you know, fake acting like he can help. I didn't like that at all. I did not like that at all. And if y'all ever show him this video, he can see that I said I don't like that at all. For him to be talking about, Oh, I made, I got $17,000 worth of bills. This, that, that, like, you want a cookie or what? You want a cookie that you got $17,000 worth of bills and we all sitting here struggling, barely making money off of a trade and you making all this money from the residuals. How about you not just look out for yourself and help us all out? Like, and that's why I try to understand about Forex. Like, if we working as a team, why can't we collaboratively like, that's probably not in the word. But why can't we all just put it together and get people together? Like, oh. So then they join Epic. 
here I go again. Get my money. How many greets is that at this point? That's IML twice, Tradera, and Epic. So it's four different teams. And um, I'm like, yo, my mentor, like, at the time, my mentor was the boy now because I joined under him and I wasn't with the girl anymore because she wasn't really doing full racks. So, like, she was joined and Lee joined Lee. So, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to keep going because I ain't no quitter. I, I'm going to make my money from Forex, y'all. I can't do it. I feel like I watched those videos of everybody talking the first month of me being in Forex. I don't want to keep hearing y'all. I need a thousand more people to get on here. I ain't a thousand more people to get on here. Did it, like screaming, yelling, all that. Like, oh, it was Dom and uh, oh god, Dom and somebody else in the morning at nine o'clock on Tuesdays, Thursdays. The one ones right there. They the ones too. That was a whole group. Like they really had us making money, money, like money. I was that I guess the most I post on Forex, making four hundred dollars and all that, like making four hundred dollars in a day. In a day. Like, okay. Ah. You like it really says that I withdraw like four thousand dollars from Forex. Where is that? I don't know. I don't even know, y'all. I probably put it back in losing it after a while. So yeah. But they was making us money. So Joint Epic. I can't take it anymore. I lost four hundred dollars. Like, like I held these two trades for weeks, and I was listening to Alyssa, and she don't put stop loss. She does not put stop loss on a US thirty and all that other stuff. So I'm thinking, yeah, I'm gonna do that same thing on my regular trades. And my regular trades, they hit like real low, and I could have pulled out. But I'm like, you know what? They're gonna go blue. Never. Never went blue. I'm pretty sure they probably went, went blue now sometime. So now, now. It's been months. It's like, no, I was like, November, December. It's May. They probably would definitely probably went blue by now. And probably even hit TP. If I had the money in there to keep holding it out and holding it out and holding it out. But I didn't have the money and that shit took all my money, man. $400 and that was like, I'm done. I'm done. You couldn't tell me nothing. I am done. Let's move on to my next topic about Forex. I want to say is that I used to hate the people just randomly calling me. And throughout the day to say, did you recruit anybody? Did anybody sign up? Did anybody do this? Did you do that tip? Yo, and I joined with the boy. He wanted me to, um, he wanted me, he didn't really press me. He wasn't really, he would press me here and there. But the old boy would really be like, you can get it, get it. I'm just like, no, I cannot sit here and make a list of 50 people. I'm not going through my contacts of a bunch of people I barely even know or remember to sit here and try to force them to join Forex. And they say it's not them, it's not forcing them to join Forex. They get on Instagram every day and see people talk about Forex every day. Me sitting here texting their phone. They told me I can have 50 to 100 people. I don't even know three people. Like I do, but like not people that would want to join Forex. I just, people, like people now, they, they, they join in Forex like crazy. They, that's like this SBC stuff. I'm Definitely probably about to join SBC. I'm not even ready to hold y'all. I don't even know what SBC is. But they seem like they... I can't really say they seem like they making money. Because I've already been in this Forex stuff. And I know how the game go. And I know how you got to get on social media and fake and lie. And post all people money that they making. Like, I didn't did it before. With, I mean, I have never posted nobody money and made it seem like it was mine. But I know people who literally was never put a trade in, never made no money, and posting other people money acting like it's theirs. Like, that's that's not right. That's not right. That's not right. That shit is not right, man. 
these people really be out here faking, acting like the money is theirs, and they be a picture they got out the group chat. That's fucked up. That is that is fucked up. Cause then people just be so so ready to recruit, recruit, recruit. Don't even know how to trade. Don't even know how to really sit here. I just be mad as shit when I gotta recruit. Honestly, I was mad because I'm like, bro, I don't even remember how to even. I would get recruits so spaced out. I wouldn't even remember how to even sign these people up. I wouldn't remember how to, like, describe Forex Tim. What's a pip? Like, I would have to refresh my whole memory. I, I don't have to refresh my memory because I know all that. But I would have to refresh my whole memory to start recruiting people because I don't know none of that. I used to be mad. I'm like, why would you even sit here and promote this stuff? You know, sitting here, I'm sitting back in my mindset. Like, ain't nobody going to join. Ain't nobody going to join. Ain't nobody going to join. And it, it'll be that day that I'm like, ain't nobody going to join. If somebody want to join and they join. Like, they just force you. Like, that, the second group that I joined when the girl, when my men, my old mentor told me like, oh, yeah, these girls are so nice. They still text me to this day. And they still text her to this day. And they still text my other mentee to this day. My mentee to this day. With the same exact message. Like, it's not genuine. It's not genuine. These people that y'all see all over Instagram is in it for the residual income. That's it. That's all. Like, they probably barely are trading. They're just getting with just, these people that's yeah. at these mansions and all that. Residual. That's how they get there. Residual. P1000, P2000, P5000. What then? What it go? The C10, yeah. C15. Stuff like that, like you, you, I'm trying to tell y'all, you will never get in those mansions if you don't rank up. You will never get in those mansions if you don't rank up. If you don't rank up, you want to stay home wherever you live. And you live in Chicago, Baltimore, Philly, um, Texas, uh, Pittsburgh, ATL. You want to stay home. If you don't level the fuck up in this business, that's the thing I don't like. How about we all get a retreat? Even though, let's get a retreat for trying. For trying. And that's my Forex experience. I definitely would join Forex again. Uh, I would say pick your, pick your groups the fuck wisely. Yes. Like, just don't, just join because you see somebody posting a thousand dollars because it's probably not theirs or it's probably their residual income. Just, just, you got to really be mindful of this stuff when you are joining Forex because these people be lying. Just like a scammer. They, it's like some of them are really scammers. You they want you to get on Instagram, show your face, show your face. I'm not, I get on Instagram and I show my face, and people still don't care. Well, like, get on Instagram and show your face. Most of you are not leveling up because you're not showing your face. You're not telling people about the business. Everybody in the world knows about Forex. Like, aside probably for old people. And you tell them about it, and they be like, I ain't doing that pyramid scheme. I feel like a person with C10, the C10 rank, will get more people than a person with nothing. Because at this point, the person with the C10 got make it $10,000 a month and got shit to show for that $10,000 a month. This video. So yeah, basically, choose your group wisely. They so Most people are really just in it for the money. Most of the money that you see is from residuals. Like, unless these people can really show you their trading account, don't listen to all this money that they have. Unless you join that group and you're making the same much money as them. And I, that's one thing I did not like. The oh, the the people will be calling their own trades out, making their own money. For all that, why can't you help us all out? Why? Why? That's how I did. It's like the way some people carry you in these groups, you're better off going on YouTube and watching this stuff and learning on your own. It's going to take way more time because you're going to be putting in your own trade. But once you learn how to trade, oh my goodness, you will dominate that shit. You don't even need to keep paying a monthly. And that's something else I forgot. I did not know you had to pay a monthly. I did not know you had to pay a monthly. 
I thought that was the most blindsided thing ever. How dare you sit here and not tell me? And I, I was mad at, my, I was mad at the girl. She said, "Yeah, I, uh, um, Rodney told us not to tell nobody that they gotta pay the monthly. I mean, that they gotta pay the monthly." There's always three and free. After that, they expect you to pay your monthly because you're getting residuals. <sighs> it's a lot that come with these forex groups. Forex is legit. The groups are not. You, it's a hit and miss with these groups. I promise you, it is. Like B head shift, Epic head, like live trading people. But this stuff really was not all that to be like make it's, it was it's not all it's not all that to this Instagram stuff is making it to be. Y'all see them in these mansions and y'all think that's where y'all supposed to be and how y'all wanna be. No. No. Like they why do people act like COVID don't exist, honestly. I don't never see nothing with a mask on either. Maybe they all got the vaccine or something. Maybe they got the forex vaccine and it protects them from COVID or something. But yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all I would join for rest again, I will be joining maybe tomorrow. <laughs> SBC, and after that, I will never do for rest again. If this is not go right, I'm never doing it again. I'm like, it's good money out there with forex, but it's the money is with the residuals. They they just try to recruit people so big. I just want people to come naturally, uh. and that's why I always tell everybody, I don't want to force nobody. I'm not making nobody. If you want to leave, leave the group. If you want to join, join. I'm not forcing nobody. I don't have time to sit here on social media all day. We're making yeah, 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 yeah. We're making yeah, 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 yeah. Why haven't you traded yet? Why aren't you yeah. trading? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a fucking robot. Yeah. It's like we're all robots. Yeah. And we're all programmed to say the same yeah. thing over and over and over and over and over again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's enough. That's my experience with Forex. I joined four different groups, about to be five. And after this fifth one, because honestly, it's three strikes and you're out. But after this fifth one, I am done. I cannot take it. I'm not. I just can't. I don't want nobody trying to force me to recruit. I think that's the stupidest shit I would. Let me recruit when I recruit. Let me get people when they want to join. I'm not about to sit here and keep texting Shanae today. Oh, if she says she's going to join Friday, text her on Friday. No, I'm not pocket watching her. She probably got bills to pay. She probably only want to join. She probably just wanted to join on Monday. Now, Friday comes, she don't want to join no more. If she want to join, she know where I'm at. She know my Instagram. The <laughs> hell? <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all just want to keep sitting here. Like, comment. Subscribe. Subscribe. Really, subscribe. Subscribe. Seriously. Choo.